guys, what is up? So today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got this kind of glam winter cut crease makeup that I got going on here. So, you know, really nice. I really love cut creases and I love glitter and I love, I love it all. So without further ado, if you're interested in learning how I did this whole makeup look, keep on watching. So let's get started. So I'm in with the shade and light eye palette from Kat Von D and I'm taking this black shade called Shex and I'm going to be drawing this line slightly above my natural crease and it's kind of cut off but you'll be able to see it soon and I'm just kind of drawing a half circle as you can see right here and then I'm going in with the color Lazarus from the same palette and I'm going to be blending and buffing away at this line and this is going to help us with our ombre effect if you should say if I should say um, that we're trying to create here and then I'm going back in with the color next to the next to Shax and it's called Salos I think that's how you pronounce it and I'm doing the same I did with Lazarus and I'm just going to be blending and buffing away at that line it's going to really help blend out these colors and then I'm going in with a matte white shade, Liberatus, I think is how it's pronounced. And I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone with it, and I'm going to be blending away with it. And then I'm going back in with Lazarus, and I'm just blending those two together softly, making the whole look very dramatic, but soft at the same time, very nicely blended. And now I'm going in with a concealer, it doesn't matter, any concealer you want to use. And I'm just going to be making this nice sharp cut crease line edge and it's just going to look very sharp in the end. It's going to look very clean and it's going to look like a very nice cut crease and that is what we want. And so using concealer really helps with this look. So I'm just going to be placing it all over my lid and on the nice edge and then I'm going to be tapping that in with my finger. And then I went in with a matte white shade to make sure it doesn't crease and I'm going in with Liberatus and I'm going back in with that black shade from the same palette Shax and I'm just going to be deepening up that line once again and then I'm going in with the Sephora Wishes Come True palette and I'm taking this sparkly white in the color Pretty Pearls and I'm just going to be packing this on my lid where I put the white eyeshadow Liberatus and I'm just going to put that on there and it's going to give a really nice sparkly white effect that everyone loves so much because I just think it's really pretty and it looks kind of like snow. And then I'm going in with eyeliner but as you can see right here it got really cut off. I had to slow it down so I can just explain but like it's just pretty much cut off. So I just finished my wing and then I'm going in with Shax and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line and my waterline. So I put falsies on and now I'm going in with my Rock and Maybelline mascara to just blend my real eyelashes with the falsies just to make it look a little bit more real and natural you could say. And those are the finished eyes. This is the face I'm going to be contouring because we want to be contoured. This is the full out look. So I'm going to be contouring using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. To my face, I'm going to be bronzing with my Chocolate Soleil Milk Chocolate Too Faced Bronzer. To my face, some glow. We're going to be using highlighter. I'm going to be going in with my Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow, but I'm going to use it as a highlighter. Have you guys tried looking for this? Because it's literally impossible. To find it it's sold out everywhere I had to go to two Sephora's to get one like me and my best friend we both wanted one and there was two left in two Sephora so there was one in each Sephora and we had to ask it wasn't on the thing anymore it was like under and like the like the pull out little things where they keep all the rest of their makeup yeah it was in there so we needed to like ask to get this what sucks is when I first got this highlighter I broke it. Same day, same like arrival of getting home from the mall, broke it. Fell on the floor, shattered. I was scarred, I was heartbroken. It was not, not a fun time. 
And for the rest of the face, I'm going to be blushing my cheeks and I'm going to be using the Wishes Come True Sephora blush right here. I want to try it for this look, so I'm going to try it. It is called Feeling Pretty, so let's do it. I'm gonna go in with some kind of nude because the li lids on my eyes are already super dramatic and but I don't really have a good nude lipstick so I'm just gonna go with the two I have. I'm going to be mixing Color Whisper by Maybelline in Go Nude and this e.l.f. lipstick that I wanted to try and it's called Party in the Buff. So I'm gonna go in first with Go Nude. I wanted to add something else to this lip look, so I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Paris um, lipstick thing. I don't know. I don't even really like it, but it's a good color, so I'm going to use it. That guys was my look I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you try the look make sure to tag me in like an Instagram post or anything I'd love to see it my Instagram will be down below and will be on the screen right now so yeah make sure you give this video a like hit the subscribe button down below if you want I would really really love it if you guys would um, thank you so much for watching. Leave comments down below for suggestions for more videos and I will be sure to read them and hopefully do them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world, wherever time it is, wherever, whatever it is. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.